yeah, we talked about phase four. I think we we both agree. It's a good phase. We enjoyed it. it. Brought us a lot of stuff that we really liked. Um, I want to move on to your movie that you want me to fix. Oh, okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do what have this you thing. chosen? Okay. It was hard. It was hard. But I'm actually going with one that I think can be fixed. I legitimately believe this can be fixed. Okay. But I don't know how. So I want us to play. Can you fix it with Mick Manhattan? Well, this week's movie is... What year was this? <laughs> 2012's Battleship. Oh. <laughs> All right. How do you fix Battleship? One, don't make it. No. <laughs> How about, I saw that coming. <laughs> How do you fix Battleship? Um, Battleship was a movie where... <sighs> I don't know what the studios were thinking for a while there where they thought like we can capitalize on board games for some reason. Yes. Who would turn down an epic battleship movie where there's huge battles going on in, in this, at the sea right. and you could do that. Now they throw aliens into the mix. Fine. I don't know where in the board game that exists, but whatever. That's where I think that you fix battleship because when it really comes down to it, it should have been more war games than the Michael Bay Independence Day type of style that it went with. Agreed. It should have been some sort of rogue breakoff faction of some sort of group of ships rather than aliens and then buzzsaw aliens just so Peter Berg can show off his cool alien effects. <laughs> yeah, but even then, like what I would do is I would I would stick it if you want to put it at aliens because basically all Battleship was um is is the precursor to what pixels ended up being yeah and it you, you still know what? doesn't work mm -hmm. um because i can fix that movie too but we're not there we're talking about battleship at the moment battleship <laughs> um so with battleship the thing is you didn't give a really formidable um opponent with some backstory and life to it you should have either made it another country or edit an element of why are they attacking? It can't just be we're attacking and we have a battleship and we can take them out. That's not how it is. And then there were other aliens that happened to have landed here hundreds of years ago that now they're rising up. Cool. <laughs> Which is basically War of the Worlds. You know, like yeah. so it was it was it was somebody sat in that room and said, and Hasbro or Mattel, whoever makes the game, came in and said, we want a game based on Battleship. Everyone loves it, and we want to see it. And then the executives were like, deal, thanks for the money. And then they went out, and they just were like, let's take things from all these different movies and make something terrible. Um, whereas if you had just followed a formula and, and asked the questions, why are we incorporating the Navy? Why is the battleship the most important thing? Where are we at? Like you could have turned this into almost a post-apocalyptic, and I'm not talking about Last of Us type post-apocalyptic, but like something happens where borders are being ripped apart, things like mm -hmm. that. Really tell this yeah. tale, and the th and the navies are what are keeping everything going and safe. Nice. Or do you even have one specifically hit an EMP blast? So yeah. more of the advanced ships are out and you can still even have the old battleship come in back into play and be useful. Like, mm -hmm. sure, you could have that. I'm I'm into that. I get it. They should have been more looking at like shows like The Last Ship. Yes. I'll Stuff like that. that. Yeah. And why? Because now you have a movie called Battleship. The game, the most pivotal thing is the battleship. Mm hmm but you didn't make it that way in the movie. What you're saying, you made it more of a MacGuffin. Like we need this thing because it's the only thing that's going to beat this. And that's right. not the case. And then you add a whole bunch of beautiful people in there and no real acting. And why do I say war games? Because if you go and you look at war games, it's Matthew Broderick down to it. He is playing somebody else, a faceless thing. Mm -hmm. If you had just done that and focused on the ships, we got five ships left, all these different types of ships. We got a sub, things like that. And as they are trying to defeat the enemy, are one by one being taken out. 
leaving the battleship and its crew realize who have maybe the leader on there, the admiral that's kind of overseeing everything. And it's the, it's the one that they want to keep the safe, the safest, the most, but it's also coming down to their last ship and they need to win this or it's game over. Yeah. See what I did there. <laughs> I, I, good one. Good put. So I, I just, that's think that, curious. yeah, if I think if you took that and put an element into it, where it's more espionage thriller, um, maybe not espionage, but you know what I mean, like that. That it's almost in something. tone like Hunt for Red October. Yeah, yeah, I see where you're going. Yep, you know, um, and and okay. played that you but can battleships add hunting characters. each other instead of aliens. Yeah, and it, you know what? Another movie that it would be really good to kind of base it on is Fury. Mm, okay. Fury with okay. ships. You know? Actually, you know what? I would watch the heck out of that. If you did Fury mm -hmm. with ships, because it's, you know, that's back in the day when there was uh, Midway and all those other mm -hmm. naval uh, battle movies that came out after World War II. That would be fantastic to see something like that. Now, I do have another question for you in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Do you change the cast? Yes. Taylor Kish is... Um, Cardboard. Box, he's, he's box office um, cess. <laughs> you know, in the pool of cess, he is yeah. box off his toxic toxicity. He doesn't work. I liked him. I liked him in Friday Night Lights. Mm -hmm. I think he's a good actor, but he just isn't getting it done. So, like as an executive, I'm not casting him. Plus, you need somebody a little more charismatic. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to make it a naval off, uh, he wasn't even an officer. He was just a sailor. Uh, I think in that. I think I so. Yeah. I believe or, yeah, so. Yeah, I forget what he was. Well, he was but... Lieutenant Alex Hopper. Okay, so he was a lieutenant. Lieutenant. Yeah. It makes no sense. Uh, and of course, Liam Neeson's in there and the whole daughter daughter aspect. And it's just ridiculous. Yeah. You need so to. So you, make... you'd cut the love story, is what you're saying. Yeah. I no mean, Brooklyn you... Decker necessary. <sighs> if you're going to add a love story, add a love story. And I hate to say it. I really do because this is a movie that needs to be fixed. And I can fix this too. But I'm, again, I'm not going to do it because we're doing this different times. Um, if you're going to add a love story element to it, not the first half of the movie, but the second half of the movie, make it more like Pearl Harbor. And that hurts me to say. Mm. But where it's a, it's it almost is like the one thing I'll say about Pearl Harbor and, and the love story behind it, it's almost like a, a, like a knight's type of, uh, story where he's courting yes. and they're doing, and yeah. I like that element, and I think that's I the do element. Too. I agree. Like it's that. like knights. It's like a, a knight's tale, something along those lines. Yeah. It's got that same feeling it's of interacting and, and trying to you know, the wooing, and who doesn't love the wooing part, and who doesn't love to say woo? Yeah. <laughs> Very true. So like, I would, I would, I would change it in that direction. Again, I wouldn't make it like they did in Pearl Harbor. Trust me, I know everybody. Don't, don't, don't do that. Like, like even Dan saying, "Don't." Dan's do it. already at it. You take. Oh man, David move. Gregory fixed it. Cocaine battleships. I'm I mean, in. Just not, yeah, Cocaine I mean that everything. would definitely fix it. <laughs> um, um, and I like that too. The adding the smugglers element. You oh, can man. even make it. You know, in, in this world that's like where it's kind of like maybe maybe they're just trapped. Maybe it's just a battleship trap somewhere. But I, I like the idea of having the different ships and they're being taken out one by one by maybe smugglers or something along those lines. And it comes down to the battleship. I think it would also be awesome to make it come down between a sub and a battleship. That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. So, uh, as long as, you know, the battleship has depth charges and a helicopter, I think they'd have a chance. So what do you think of my movie? Did I fix Battleship? That's a really good question. Uh, I'm going to say... Anyone other than Taylor Kitsch automatically gives it another point. And this is oddly not because I don't like the man. I think he's a fantastic actor. I think they do a great job. Uh, I didn't like him in this role at all. I think he was a drag on this. I think Rihanna outacted him. And that's not saying that she's a terrible actress, but this was early in her career. so <laughs> That's for sure. I think we can put it that way. Um, Liam Neeson is not necessary in this. I would rather have someone more... If you're going to cast someone, this thing was shot too light. Okay, there was a lightness to this. So I think you could have swapped him out pretty easily or changed and made it a darker movie overall, just tonally. Uh, 
I think you fixed it, buddy. You made this a movie that I would much rather watch because you took the aliens away. And really, that's the only thing that sucked so hard in this that I would have dealt with old paper cardboard there, Mr. Kitch. So, <laughs> I, yeah, you definitely, I mean, even especially after John Carter or whatever, mm -hmm. you, you need you need to like change that up. Which was another one I looked at because I, that is the number one biggest box office flop. And yep. I contemplated that one because I enjoyed it, but I realized why it sucked at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like it was disjointed as hell. Mm -hmm. They just did not do anything well. And it's unfortunate because... All the pieces were there. I hate when you see a movie and all the pieces are there and you just can't quite get to it. And that's why I have my best friend, Mick Manhattan. He's the guy who fixes movies. And tonight he fixed a battleship. Join us next week. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I wanna get into our uh, final topic of this evening. We've been talking okay. about it.